Many snakes wield venom as a means to subdue prey, ward off threats, and even facilitate digestion in the diverse snake population of India. Numbering over 270 species, nearly 60 are endowed with venomous capabilities. Within this group, we find the notorious Big Four, the Indian Spectacled Cobra, the Indian Common Crate, the Indian Russell's Viper, and the Indian Saw Scaled Viper. Here we are discussing them. Number 1. Indian Spectacled Cobra. The Indian Cobra, scientifically known as Naya Naya, is a venomous snake found in various regions of the Indian subcontinent, including India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, and Nepal. Here are some key characteristics of the Indian Cobra. The hood often has markings resembling spectacles or glasses, hence the alternative name spectacled cobra. Their coloration varies, but they are typically brown or black with distinct patterns. The Indian cobra is native to a wide range of regions. In the Indian subcontinent, it inhabits various environments, from forests and grasslands to agricultural areas and even urban settings. Indian cobras are primarily terrestrial and are known for their hood-spreading behavior when feeling threatened. They are mainly active during the early morning and evening hours and feed on a diet, consisting of rodents, birds, frogs and other prey. The venom of the Indian cobra is neurotoxic, meaning it affects the nervous system. A bite can lead to symptoms such as paralysis, respiratory failure, and other serious effects. While Indian cobras are often less aggressive than some other venomous snakes and may give warning signs like hood spreading and hissing, before striking they should be treated with great caution. Indian cobras are not considered threatened or endangered. They are relatively common in many parts of their range and are often associated with cultural and religious symbolism in India. Encountering an Indian cobra in the wild should be approached with caution and at a safe distance if bitten by an Indian cobra. Immediate medical attention is essential as antivenom treatment is crucial to counteract the effects of the venom. Number 2. Indian Common Crate The Indian Common Crate Bungarus caruleus is a highly venomous snake found in various parts of the Indian subcontinent, including India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, and Nepal. Here are some key characteristics of the Indian common crate. Indian common crates are relatively small snakes, typically ranging from 0.9 to 1.2 meters, 3 to 4 feet in length. They have a slender body and are usually black or bluish black in color. These snakes are highly venomous and possess neurotoxic venom. The venom primarily affects the nervous system, causing paralysis and muscle weakness. Crate bites can be particularly dangerous due to their nocturnal behavior, which may result in delayed discovery and treatment. Common crates are primarily nocturnal, which means they are most active during the night. They are generally calm and non-aggressive when left undisturbed but can deliver a venomous bite. If provoked or stepped on due to their nocturnal habits, they often go unnoticed until a bite occurs. The Indian common crate is found across the Indian subcontinent, with a distribution that includes India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Nepal and Bangladesh. They inhabit various environments, from grasslands and forests to rural and suburban areas. These snakes have a glossy black or bluish black body with white crossbands that are often indistinct, which can make them difficult to spot in low light conditions. The head is small and barely distinguishable from the body. Indian common crates are known to frequent a variety of habitats, including agricultural areas, plantations and human settlements. They often seek shelter in dark and hidden places like crevices piles of debris and buildings. The Indian common crate is oviparous, 
meaning it reproduces by laying eggs. The female lays a clutch of eggs, and after an incubation period, the young snakes hatch. Encountering an Indian common crate in the wild should be approached with extreme caution, and it's best to avoid any unnecessary confrontation. If bitten by an Indian common crate, immediate medical attention is crucial as anti-venom treatment is necessary to counteract the effects of the venom. Number 3. Indian Russell's Viper The Indian Russell's Viper, scientifically known as Doboya russeli, is a highly venomous snake found in various parts of the Indian subcontinent, as well as parts of Southeast Asia. Here are some key characteristics of the Indian Russell's Viper. Russell's Vipers are relatively large snakes, with adults typically ranging from 90 to 160 centimeters, about 35 to 63 inches, in length. Some individuals can grow even larger. They have a stout and heavy body. With a distinctive triangular-shaped head, their coloration varies but they often have a brown or grey background with a series of dark, irregular shaped bands or zigzag patterns on their back. Russell's vipers are distributed across a wide range of South Asian countries. They inhabit a variety of habitats, including grasslands, rocky terrain, agricultural areas and sometimes urban environments. Russell's vipers are terrestrial and primarily nocturnal, meaning they are most active during the night. They are ambush predators, feeding on small mammals, birds and other prey. When threatened, they can be aggressive and deliver a potent venomous bite. The venom of the Russell's viper is primarily hemotoxic, meaning it affects the blood and can lead to severe tissue damage, bleeding and other complications. Bites from this snake can be life-threatening and require prompt medical attention and antivenom. Treatment Russell's vipers are known for their distinctive rasping or hissing sound when provoked. This sound is created by rubbing their scales together and is often used as a warning. Before striking, encountering an Indian Russell's viper in the wild should be approached with great caution and a safe distance. If bitten by a Russell's viper, Seeking immediate medical attention is crucial, as antivenom treatment is necessary to counteract the effects of the venom. Number 4. Indian Saw Scaled Viper The Indian Saw Scaled Viper, scientifically known as Echis corinosus, is a highly venomous snake found in various parts of the Indian subcontinent, as well as regions in the Middle East and Africa. Here are some key characteristics of the Indian saw-scaled viper. Saw-scaled vipers are relatively small snakes, with adults typically ranging from 30 to 75 centimeters, about 12 to 30 inches, in length. Some individuals may grow slightly larger. They have a slender, somewhat flattened body with a distinctive, keeled appearance on their scales. The coloration of saw-scaled vipers varies but it often includes shades of grey, brown, or reddish-brown, which help them blend into their arid environments. Saw-scaled vipers are distributed across regions of Africa, the Middle East and South Asia, from North Africa to the Indian subcontinent. They inhabit a range of arid and semi-arid habitats. Saw-scaled vipers are primarily nocturnal, and are known for their aggressive and defensive behavior when threatened. They are ambush predators, typically hiding under rocks, in burrows, or in sand during the day, and emerging to hunt at night. The venom of the saw-scaled viper is hemotoxic and cytotoxic, meaning it affects the blood and can lead to severe tissue damage, bleeding, and other complications. Bites from these snakes can be life-threatening and require prompt medical attention and antivenom. Treatment The saw-scaled viper gets its name from the distinctive rasping sound it makes when threatened. This sound is produced by rubbing the scales on its body together 
and is often used as a warning sign before striking. Encountering an Indian saw scaled viper in the wild should be approached with great caution and it's best to keep a safe distance. If bitten by a saw scaled viper, immediate medical attention is crucial as antivenom treatment is necessary to counteract the effects of the venom. We hope you enjoy this video and consider subscribing to stay updated on future content if you like what you see. Give us a thumbs up and check out some of our other videos and thanks for watching.